Hello everybody, this is Daniel GTO, and today we're at the KV5. This time we're on Rimberg, so you may recall me I mentioned in previous videos that I have a tendency to binge on one particular vehicle whenever I start enjoying it, and this is uh, one of those situations. So I mixed it up yesterday, uh, like a, well, maybe not yesterday, but I mixed, mixed it up a, co a couple of days ago uh, by making T34 the vehicle uh, that I was going to feature rather than the KV5, but I kind of felt like KV5. Because it's been so long since I featured it properly, I feel like I should feature one more replay of it and stop featuring it for a couple of weeks again. So, yeah. And also I have to try and make use of most of my decent replays in 9.9 or 9.20 before 9.20.1 is released. And that's actually something I want to quickly mention. Uh, I'm going to make a separate video dedicated to this. Uh, the competition, I have not decided 100% on the rewards yet. I really need to make my mind up on that. Uh, but... I think I'm going to have it after 9.20.1 is released. That's my plan. So yeah, and that was a mistake on my on completely my mistake, my mistake on my end there. Uh, I shot the Panther 88's upper front glazes for some reason. I don't know why I did that. Like I was completely pointless because like it's so well angled, there was no chance in hell I was going to penetrate that. And yeah, this KV-13, I was extremely unlucky. Holy crap! Uh, KV-13 is just completely boned. Like, there's literally nothing he can do here. And he has a really good repair speed, actually, because he's repaired his tracks twice faster than I can reload, so he, has a, he must have a really solid repair speed, and it's only because artillery hits him there that he doesn't get his tracks repaired that time. And now there's this SU-100M1. He's getting on my nerves, so I kind of want to get rid of him. Uh, there is an OA, and wow, the OA. What, what even was that? Oh, that was a premium heat round. Okay, if he's firing heat rounds, there's no way in hell he can penetrate a KV-5. There's just like no way, like even the side armor in this thing's like 150 millimeters. It's insane, and that shot was just complete, just no. <laughs> this gun sometimes, like even though it's a lot of fun to use this machine, the gun sometimes just, will just troll the shit out of you. And also the, the back of the turret catches people out as well on this tank. I'm not really sure why that pan 3 really decided to do whatever he's doing there, but but whatever. And I'm just gonna focus that SGL 100 M1 down. Make sure to remove him from the game. Pan 3 is right in front of me. Just shoot the way at me and so far nobody really seems to know where to shoot a KV-5 apparently which I thought this was common knowledge but I guess not and this Panther 88 I think has just given up on the game because he's just been shot to shit by artillery so may as well finish him off and let's go for the OI next so the OI is turret facing the other way so just going, I'm going to one free shot into this guy it's flat so I'm going to penetrate that if he fires CHE, he will do some damage to me, but probably not very much. And because this tank's so massive, he can't even use the Panther 88's corpse as uh, as cover. So now I'm on 4 kills, 3,245 damage. Like the 3,561 damage. Uh, because KV-5 just... just is, This is just KV-5 for you. KV-5, if it was a really quick game, and god damn it, that M44 killed himself. What a scumbag. But, yeah. KV-5 is ultimate tank for short games. Like, how long was this game? This game was like three and a half minutes, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, I love this machine. There's just such ridiculous games happening in this thing, like, no other machine has ridiculous games, I guess, here. Um, yeah, I really do still like this machine a lot. It's not as good as Lova. It's one, probably one of the weaker tier 8 premiums overall these days, but if it gets a penetration buff, like, I kind of want to. Um, I don't change anything about the rate of fire or anything, uh, then I think this could be potentially one of the best tier 8 premiums because it's just so much fun to drive. <laughs> also, if they buff the traverse speed, that would be amazing because the traverse speed on this thing sucks shit. Okay, so we're on to the post game stats here now. So, this was with an ace tanker, steel wall, high caliber, and I think that's Spartan? Maybe? Go ahead? I don't know. Uh, but 78,298 credits made with 2760, 2760 XP in that particular match. Uh, that's because, well, double XP because first win of the day, but you have to admit that was a pretty damn sweet first first win of the day. So, let's go on to the team scores. So, that was 1,380 base XP without any modifiers, 3,561 damage done, 4 kills, and yeah, it looks like that was a bit of a carry by me. <laughs> I mean, the enemy team, uh, well, actually looking at both teams had 3 tanks that did 0 damage, but I'm just looking there. One of their tanks that did zero damage somehow was an AS6. How do you do zero damage to an AS6 in matchmaking like this? Seriously, how do you do that? Um, it's been a long time since I've seen. Like, and also, you know a team that isn't doing particularly well when Jagdpanzer 4 has the highest damage on the team. I mean, come on. 
what the fuck? <laughs> oh god. Um, let's see. On my team, second S X P was the M X thirteen seventy five. Then three thousand two D after that. Then G W Tiger P after that. So, and then Thunderbolt after that, of course. So, uh, not really much else I really have to mention there, except like that was a, that was that was the definition of a stomp there. I thought the other game the other day I put up was a stomp, but that one was a true stomp. But yeah. Let's go on to the detailed report. So 18 shots fired, 16 or 16 direct hits, 14 penetrations, uh, 3,561 damage, 3,840 damage blocked by armor. So <laughs> she's two penetrations, 18 non-penetrations. Jesus Christ, fucking hell. This thing is mental. Um 1,470 uh, damage from my assistance. And I made 67,804 credits after the deduction of my uh repair costs, my consuming balls and ammunition and ammunition and stuff. So to sum up, the KV five is just KV five is just awesome. Um it's not for everybody. I should just I, I always like to make that clear. It's definitely not a machine for everybody. There's a lot of people who absolutely test this thing, who own it. Uh, and there's then there's people like me who absolutely adore it. Um the question for this video I think will be what do you guys actually think of like longer videos versus shorter videos? Do you prefer longer videos, uh, like the ten or ten or so minute videos, or do you prefer them to be less than ten minutes? Uh, I've actually never asked that question before on the channel. Um, I feel like it may be better to go for shorter videos, just just like try and like um, try and make it a little bit more watchable for more people. I'm not sure if that's a good idea or not. Let me know in the comments what you think of that. There, I'm not sure if it's a good idea or a bad idea. So yeah. Uh, I think that's pretty much everything I really need to say about this thing. Just like the KB5 is just it's it's the ultimate more my tank pretty much is like the is like the way to describe it pretty much. It's like you either love it or you absolutely despise it. Um that's pretty much all you can really say about the KB5. So yeah. Uh let me know about the, what I asked her uh in the comment section below and thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.